When you're making an app, you always want it to look the best it can possibly be. So when you have to make a container to hold multiple views, boxy relative layouts get kind of old. That's where the card view comes in. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to add the card view through a dependency, create the card view in XML, and alter some of its unique attributes, such as its corner radius, as well as its elevation. First, you're obviously going to want to start by opening Android Studio, and then you want to head over to the Gradle scripts over here, th this folder, and open the build.gradle for the app level. Then you're going to head on over to dependencies, and as you can see here, I have two different versions of the dependency you have to add, in com uh, which are commented out, and you can choose either one. So take the time now to pause the video and uh, copy what copy this part down. And this is the dependency to add the card view. If you do not know what a dependency is, I really recommend that you check out my video on adding build dependencies to your Gradle files. Uh, that way you can gain information and understand what's happening here. But now let's move on. Um, and we're first, before we can go to our activemain.xml, we have to sync our Gradle files now that we've added a new dependency for the card view. Now that it's synced, I can head on over to activatemain.xml. And you can see I have a basic relative layout here. And to show the difference between the card view and the relative layout, I've just made the background for my relative lay layout uh, a light blue. Now I'm going to go ahead and create my card view object, uh, card view element. And I'm going to do that by typing card view. And it should show Android X .cardview, cardview now that we've added the dependency. And this will be different based on which dependency you added. Here you can see I'm going to specify the width and height, and I'm going to set that to maybe 300 SP. Um, and again here, 300 SP. And uh, this is a basic car view. Um, instead of running this on an actual mobile device, I'm going to open up the design tab over here to show you what it looks like. And you can see we have this boxy car view that basically looks like a relative layout. And um, before I continue, I just want to add, make it center it in the parent by saying Android center and parent and set that equal to true. Now, something that I want to do with this card view is give it a rounded corner as well as make it elevated because those are two aspects of a card view that the regular relative layout does not have. In order to accomplish this, I'm going to have to use the app tag and then say card corner radius. And then I can set that to maybe... Uh, ATSP. One thing that I want to point out is if you do not know the difference between app and Android, I covered that in a previous short bit called Android versus app in XML. So I highly recommend that you check out that tutorial to understand the difference between app and Android. Moving on, uh, I've specified the card corner radius. Now I want to specify the card elevation and I can do that by saying app card elevation and maybe setting that to 20 SP. So if I head on over to the design tab, you can see that my car view just changed and uh, as you can see it has a rounded corner as well as a slight elevation which may be hard to see in the design tab but if you were to actually run this on a mobile device then you would be able to see the elevation uh, more easily. So now that you've learned how to change two important aspects of the car view which is the card corner radius and card elevation I'm going to show you how to change the background color of the card view. You may think that it is Android and then background uh, and th that's how you would change the color, but it's actually not. As you can see here, it's showing that the background color is black, but when you go to the design tab, you can see that it's still white. In order to actually change the background color of a card view, what you have to use is the app tag. So you'd say app card background color, and then specify that you want it to be black. Now going back to the design tab, you can see the card view just changed color. As I mentioned earlier in the tutorial, you may want to use the card view as a replacement for the relative layout because it looks uh, it looks different and you can be you can specify the card corner radius and make it look nice if you want to. Now I'll show you how to add other elements inside of the card view such as text or buttons. It is basically the same way that you would do it for uh, relative layout. Instead of using this tag over here with the slash and the closing tag, you would just use the closing tag. And then within um, the element over here, the card view, you would create a text view. So I could just say text view, and then that I would be able to create a text view, and I'd be able to add buttons and other elements just like this. Make sure to subscribe to the IG Apps channel and stay tuned for future tutorials. Also share the channel with friends. Until the next tutorial, happy developing.